since late February 2019, this has been the site that greets campus goers entering UP Diliman through the University Avenue. The newly restored fountain and reflection pool at the Oblation Plaza in front of Kesson Hall. Yet, to longtime members of the UP community, students, faculty, staff, and alumni alike, the fountain is a small fragment of UP's past, a graceful memory brought back to brighten our days once more. Through the tireless efforts of the members of its community of scholars, unified under a strategic plan that has made contributing to national development through knowledge creation and public service its goal, UP continues to move upward, onward, and forward. Each of UP's eight constituent universities and its 21 campuses spread across the country continues to physically grow, modernize, and transform. This growth has received a significant push through the signing on September 6, 2018 of a Memorandum of Agreement between UP and the Department of Public Works and Highways to implement infrastructure development projects in the UP campuses funded by the General Appropriations Act. This covers a total of 20 projects worth over 2.76 billion pesos. 12 projects in UP Diliman, 3 in UP Los Baños, 1 each in Manila, Cebu, Visayas, and Mindanao, and one off-campus facility in Puerto Galera. Under this MOA, the DPWH, on behalf of UP, is to procure, supervise, and implement the construction of major projects in UP Diliman. In UP Los Baños, these are some of the major projects, each with an allocation of 100 million pesos. In addition, these are some of the major projects in the different campuses of UP system. UP's campuses are evolving with the construction and renovation of buildings, facilities, laboratories, and public spaces either in progress, being completed, or kick-started. Here are a few of the infrastructure development projects throughout the UP system. In UP Diliman, progress has been made in the construction of new buildings and facilities, and the rehabilitation of existing ones for colleges and units. Aside from the Oblation Plaza, other major landmarks and historical buildings along the campus are also being given new life. And in the heart of UP Diliman's academic oval, the UP Promenade, the centerpiece of Upsilon Sigma Phi's centennial celebration offers a walkway from UP Main Library leading to park benches and a Freedom Plaza 
which provides a space for additional learning. In turn, the Beta Epsilon Alumni Association is currently upgrading their iconic Beta Way, connecting Melchor Hall and Palma Hall, crossing through the UP Promenade. At the birthplace of the university and leading academic institution in the health sciences, some exciting social infrastructure developments are in the offing at the UP Manila campus. In UP Los Baños, the country's recognized leader in agriculture, forestry, and environmental management, some green infrastructure and sustainable developments have taken root. In the three campuses of UP Visayas, the country's premier center for excellence in marine science, education and research, fisheries and aquaculture, some intense infrastructure developments are in progress. In UP Baguio, UP's home in the northern Philippines, Construction and completion of buildings to improve quality of life are soon to be a reality. In UP Open University, the pioneer institution in distance education and open learning in the Philippines, some brick and mortar constructions complement the strong online presence. In UP Mindanao in Davao City, ongoing construction projects aim to develop the university as a center of culture, languages, science, and sports development. In UP Cebu, the UP in the Queen City of the South. Some developments to enhance efficiency and competitiveness in the region are underway. And finally, some major infrastructure development completed are currently ongoing under the full support and supervision of the UP system as a commitment to creating an environment that sustains 21st century learning, knowledge creation, and public service for society and humanity. UP has also invested much in the health and well-being of its constituents through major infrastructure development projects, as well as in the kind of environment it needs to undertake and support comprehensive sports programs and uphold excellence and encourage competitive participation in sports. In UP Diliman, the new UP Sports Complex, which includes a football field and stadium and an Olympic-grade swimming pool and stadium, is finally taking shape. Meanwhile, in UP Mindanao, the 8 billion Davao City UP Sports Complex is nearing completion
The Davao City UP Sports Complex, with its world-class facilities, is intended to be used during the 2019 Southeast Asian Games in December. Plans are underway for UP Mindanao to offer sports-related courses and establish a College of Human Kinetics to boost the athletic skills of Mindanaoan players who have the potential to excel in sports. Aside from sports and fitness, health and wellness are also in the forefront of infrastructure development. In UP Diliman, the Epsilon Chi Fraternity of the College of Engineering turned over the Epsilon Chi Center, a health and fitness facility that features a basketball court that can also be used for other sports activities and events, a gym, and several commercial shops. And for a key infrastructure development project, the UP PGH Diliman, a funding worth 50 million pesos, has been allotted for the conduct of a feasibility study under the NEDA. And 100 million pesos for the generation of a detailed architectural and engineering designs and plans. The initial phases of construction for the PGH Multidisciplinary Research and Training Hospital to service the Liman and Northern Metro Manila is anticipated to begin in 2020. Cognizant of its mandate as a national university, UP takes the lead as a teaching university, a graduate and research university, a public service university, and as a regional and global university. For the school year 2018 to 2019, new general education courses were rolled out that would capture four broad themes established by a UP system general education council. These new courses focus on learning outcomes and feature student-centered instruction. The design of the courses is also anchored on the education framework established by the UNESCO International Commission on Education for the 21st Century. UP faculty and researchers continue to contribute to the body of knowledge through the publication of articles in journals indexed by Scopus or by Web of Science and book chapters published by recognized international academic book publishers, prestigious university presses, and other highly regarded international publishers. The number of UP scientists for 2017 to 2019 is also the highest in 12 years with 71 of UP's most accomplished researchers in the natural sciences, social sciences, management and economics, and engineering officially recognized as UP scientists. UP scientists and researchers continue to harness their research to meet the needs of and help develop Filipino industries, communities, and the general public. In addition, UP research projects recently received the Invention Disclosure Incentive to prepare them for patent application and commercial use. UP breakthroughs in SNT include the following.
the UP system continues to bring the arts and culture closer to its community and the public by hosting free performances. In line with its mandate to serve as a regional and global university, the UP maintains 365 active bilateral and multilateral academic agreements with other higher education institutions, along with special arrangements with Harvard University. More than 20 of UP's partner HEIs belong to the top 100 universities based on the QS World University Rankings in 2018. The university has also been an active member of international academic networks. Through these academic agreements, UP has been engaged in research, creative work collaborations. The programs under the UP Office of International Linkages continue to encourage an international mindset among members of the UP community. UP is more than just a haven for intellectual and artistic pursuits. It is also a public service institution and a caring home for its community of faculty, students, staff, and alumni. One direction taken in the past year is to focus on transforming UP into a nurturing and healthy university. Still on making UP safe, the UP Padayan Public Service Office and the UP Resilience Institute, together with College of Social Work and Community Development, launched the first Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Handbook for academic institutions written and edited by UP's DRRM experts from various academic disciplines, departments, and campuses. It aims to enhance the preparedness, resiliency, and capabilities of communities during an emergency or disaster situation, not only within UP, but for all academic institutions. The UP Resilience Institute and the nationwide operational assessment of hazards, NOAA Center also signed Memoranda of Agreement and Understanding. In order to safeguard the sanctity of the ballot and promote voter education, three UP units spearheaded check.ph. The Memorandum of Agreement reiterates the commitment to battle the spread of misinformation and fake news during the elections. Also aiming to protect Philippine elections. To educate the voters, there were lectures, fora, and similar events in cooperation with the different organizations. Finally, to recognize outstanding public service programs, projects, and initiatives of the UP constituent units, the UP system awarded its third Gawad Pamula for Excellence in Public Service. UP sustained efforts toward improving its teaching and pedagogy, its research, environment and output, internationalization efforts and public service initiatives have borne fruit in its performance in recent world university rankings. The past year has been marked by breakthroughs, outstanding achievements, and history-making as UP's faculty, students, staff, and alumni continue to demonstrate the hallmark of UP honor and excellence harnessed in the service of the nation and humanity. In 2018, five UP alumni joined the ranks of national artists, the country's highest honors given to practitioners in the arts and culture. They joined the 17 other UP alumni upon whom the award has been conferred since it was established in 1972. 
They are far from being the only UP institutions, organizations, faculty, researchers, students and alumni who had reaped awards and accolades in the past year. Aside from awards and accolades, the year has also been rich with milestones of various UP units and the members of the UP community. Finally, the year 2018 gave us the incredible story of a UP community coming together as one to rally behind the team, ignite the UP spirit to greater heights and dream of victory once more. For the first time in 32 years, the UAAP Basketball Championship was not just a hazy dream for the UP community. It is helping shine the light upon the plight of the other varsity sports teams across the UP system, the young men and women who toil and train and struggle and win despite the odds. It is giving us not only hope, but also a feeling of certainty that our dream of winning a UAAP championship is within our grasp. It is the story of what a UP community working as one can achieve. And it is the story of what UP must do. Move ever upward, ever onward and ever forward. Mm -hmm.